if I'm standing up, I will never go down to the ground to, to, to do it, all right? So if I'm already standing up, I'm gonna try to finish the technique as, as, as much as I can, trying to be standing up, all right? But let's say we're on the ground and we're passing guard or something. And uh, sometimes I get to this point and uh, he's locked up and I start uh, breaking right in between. So now I break the guard and I'm about to pass. Once I get to here, this is usually where I start attacking into the technique. Now, what I really want to do is the same thing. What he's going to try to do is he's going to try to bring his, his feet in and his knees up. This is a perfect example of, of him trying to keep you away, feet on the hips and trying to press on you. This is perfect. For me, this is what I want. If I can't pass the guard, I'll start attacking into the, into the leg lock, all right? So I'm going to do the exact same thing. His feet are on the hips right here. My hand goes under and I start trapping. Now, we did a figure four for the first technique. I can do the figure four again but I want to teach you a different grip. So I can make a grip, but sometimes what happens is that my hands stay too low. And when I start bridging, this really doesn't translate into a good lock. So what I'm going to do is here, my hand goes under and I'm going to give my collar the highest position that I can on, on my hand to my other hand. Look where I'm at. And now look what happens when I start lifting up. He starts moving. You understand? My hand isn't low. My hand isn't low and I don't want to grab down here. All right, what I want to do is I open up the collar, I drag myself down, and I make the highest grip that I can, and now from here, I'm gonna start reaching into position, all right? Now, this is part of it. My grip is part of it, now my leg position is gonna be another part of it. So watch what happens when I get into a really deep lock, and I start lifting up, what does his hips start doing? Amazing. For him to start relieving the pressure, he starts lifting up his hips. So what I want to do is, I want to get into position, and I'm gonna start taking my step. My knee comes on the inside of the knee, but my foot goes to the outside of the hip. Once I get to here, guys, I sit and I kick my leg over. Once I'm here, watch my foot. My foot goes over and now I clench my knees together and I'm pressing down with my feet, keeping my knees together and then I lay back and I can just finish into the lock. I know that right here, he's feeling the lock already just because I made the deepest, tightest grip on the collar, all right? That collar control is really important. Look what I'm doing. I'm giving that collar to my hand, all right? So let's try it again. So from here, I'm in guard. I start breaking, my knee goes through, his feet come up to the hips, and he starts attacking, like pressing me away, not letting me pass. This is perfect. I grab underneath, I give my collar. Look, I open, pull down, grab my collar, my foot steps, I sit, kick my leg over. Right now, all I need to do is, because I'm so tight on this grip, I don't have to go sideways right now. Knees come together and I bridge and I tighten up through his hip, all right? Does that make sense or no? Ready? I'm trying to make it as short and easy as I can here, okay? So, close guard, press on the hips, knee inside, start breaking, he starts attacking, he starts defending, I'm sorry, from here. Feet on the hips, wrap underneath, look what I'm doing. I'm already grabbing my collar. I open, give it to my hand as tight as I can, step my foot to the outside, my knee goes on the inside. I sit, kick my leg over, watch my knees. My knees come together and I bridge through his ankle and I finish. And right now, I'm very vertical. Later on, we'll talk about hiding your shoulder, going off to the side and doing something else, right? Anybody have any questions? No, everybody's good? Ready? Let's try this out, ready? One, two, three.